Spurs podcast. Why that appeal to to kicking? And did you ever notice that there's a disadvantages that you know you can't? You know, there's no punching. Like if you go against someone who is a kickboxer, for example, and like they do both, or yeah, everyone's like, "Ah, oh, you're gonna smash them anyways." No, uh, no, no. I'm, <coughs> I'm just laughing because I started in kickboxing first. Oh, you see, <laughs> someone hey. you dig your hole. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, no, I um, I started in kickboxing first, probably th uh, about three to six months sooner in kickboxing. Mm. And now kickboxing is uh, got elbows and knees, and then you got low kicks. So it's a nice, nice mixture. And yeah. What are you saying? Obviously, every martial arts has an advantage and disadvantage. In terms of like the stunt industry, I think Taekwondo's helped me the most mm. because of distancing, footwork, all those sort of things. And then obviously you are going into other martial arts, but in terms of my my distancing, I got all that pretty much from TKD because mm. of the ranges like in TKD. And I do uh, ITF. So they actually are punches, like it's not Olympic taekwondo. So ITF, well. let's let's break this down for someone who doesn't know anything about taekwondo. So ITF is like you're allowed to punch in the stomach and in the face as well, yes. or it's only stomach. There's just no kicks or punches below the belt. Um, so you can you can kick above the belt, body head. You can punch body so it's head. Like a, it's like kickboxing. It's, a, it's pretty, pretty much. much kickboxing. Yeah. Right. It's just like sometimes kickboxing you can have obviously the low kicks. So yeah. It, it so and that's depends. ITF, and then what is a uh, the other one is Olympic one where you just yeah WT who used to be known as WTF, but now they kind of shortened it because obviously the mm. <laughs> the abbreviation. Oh right, uh, I don't so, even know so, about it. Yeah, so it's WT World Taekwondo, which is what you see at the Olympics, which is all kicking and only body punches, or mm. very rarely do they even throw the the body punches unless they're close really? in range. And so yeah, it's, it's different. You know, he, and again, each to his own. The footwork in WT is phenomenal. I'm actually a black belt in WT as well, mm. so I've, I've done that just to just to get footwork and different things. Yeah. Like I say, like I don't put all my eggs in one basket. Just like you were saying, there's no point just doing TKD on its own because it is limited in a in a, in a certain way. Unless you've got a coach that obviously already is like mm. open to all the other mm. things and then puts obviously the knowledge from that in already and it's kind of mixed. But it's nice then as, as well if you want to progress in your martial art, you know, for self-defense as well. You want obviously your different, you, you want to be able to uh, deal long distance, medium range, close range. You want your upstairs, you want your downstairs, mm -hmm. you want your clinching. You yeah, know, yeah, you, yeah. You, you, you want all these areas. If you want to be a fighter that, you know, you have to hit all, all those areas. But, you know, if you're just doing it as a hobby or a passion, yeah, whatever, one, one fits and that, that's fine. But also you. the one thing for, like, again, we're talking about stunt industry or film industry, if they're going to need a kicker, they're going to have a TKD person because those are the best kickers in a sense of like they, they prevail in one specific area very, very highly. Yeah, they're all rain better kickers. That's the difference. So, so like I, I would say like, for example, Muay Thai, powerful kicks. But okay, mm. if you want a powerful kick on a on a movie set, you you don't want to go through an accident. Yeah, the yeah, actor. No, 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 no. So then you got control, right? Unfortunately, so, Muay Thai are one of the worst ones for film industry because they they control their kicks is, exactly. is pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. So so you know, and, but in terms of if you're training it for fighting, brilliant. You know, mm, you mm, you know. Mm, so, but in terms of what we're looking at it for, Taekwondo is brilliant. Because you learn all every aspect of how to kick. You'll kick for power. You kick for speed. When you're doing point sparring, right, you got to go fast. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. about being strong. It's about scoring your yeah. point. When you're breaking boards, you have to smack them hard. So you learn to a, a to kick someone hard if you need to as well. You learn control all these leg drills when you're doing patterns and different mm, stuff. Mm, you learn mm. to freeze your legs. So now you can control your leg. So I find Taekwondo gives you a very all round yeah, good yeah, kicking yeah, yeah. ability. So it's perfect for. Well, you know, if obviously we need to show control against the actor and not kick him in the head. Mm, 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 mm. It's perfect. But, you know, in, t in terms of fighting, it, d it depends. You might go in, in a different mode or, or you'll learn different. I always, when I teach kicks, you probably know this if, if you've watched any tutorials. I kind of, I, I explain it like TKD way, speed, strength, and then I'll say, oh, you can dip down slightly. And then it's going obviously into more different martial arts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and... and I think it's good to have that knowledge of how to create power or destroy someone's base by, you know, we're built for a head-on attack. If you go down, diagonal, up, diagonal, your body's not built for it. So it's kind of a way of doing things which other martial arts will give you as well. So it's like a puzzle piece. You know, you've got a few puzzle pieces from TKD, and then if you want to really, I'd say, not that I think I'm a master of kicking, but if you want to become all-rounded, you have to take from other martial arts yeah, as well. Yeah to get what you want. Like, what do you want? Max power. Okay, this is how I get max power. This is how I get max speed. Mm, 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 and mm, then mm. You, you got it all rounded. But you need kind of the take on different martial arts. And that's why 
every martial arts has an advantage and disadvantage because yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. focus on one more than the other. 100%. Do you remember there was a while ago, there was this uh, video or like kind of they tried to figure out which is the strongest, most powerful kick. Yeah. And they did this test. Uh, you're probably like, nah, this is not true. Yeah, TKD the, one, right? No, it the was Brent uh, Foster. It, no, it was a capoeira. It was oh, capoeira. Yeah, okay, yeah, it was yeah, the yeah. kick when you really load it from the floor. So you basically Ooh, like you tuck in, and then with momentum you turn. I will show this video. I will find it. I will show this right. Yeah, here. no, it, it yeah, makes yeah. sense because the yeah, whole yeah. body weight. I get it. But it's a, again, it has a disadvantage because you are it's, telegraphing yeah, from so a mile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're showing that that shit is gonna go down. And then, um, so yeah, let, let's let's cover like um, most of this and disadvantages and advantages from different martial arts with kicking. So Muay Thai, probably the most one of the most powerful kicks. Power conditioned, strong legs. Yeah. So so they can take punishment if they get hit in the legs as well. They normally condition well. So it's well very in the very conditioned. So conditioned. if you say Muay Thai versus Taekwondo, yeah. like what would you say advantages disadvantages? The other thing you got to look at as well is not just the martial arts itself; it's the practitioners. Because you'll get oh, a yeah, level yeah, yeah. of athlete, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. So, but let's like, say, like, if we if choose... If they're completely, like, the same yeah, kind of yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. Muay Thai, you're going to be more power-based. You're going to be conditioned. You're probably going to be very strong. Not that you don't condition in TKD, but not on the level of not Muay Thai, level. obviously. Yeah, and you're yeah. not getting kicked in the shins a, a, yeah. a lot because, obviously, the more, more the rules are above the belt. So you're not conditioning your legs yeah. as much. So their legs, in terms of taking punishment, would be stronger. They wouldn't fatigue as much if they if they've been kicked because they'd be used to it do you think do you think it damages um like um, muay thai people have you ever heard anything like when they get older because I, I know i watched muay thai stuff and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna keep yeah. tree now as well so i remember there was a point where my shins were so conditioned i still played football once in a while and i remember we went for the ball with this other player and we literally smacked our legs at the same time in the same place with the same power he collapsed i just continue walking because yeah, I couldn't yeah, feel yeah. anything in my shin. So, but I'm wondering, like, if you know, I never really looked into it, like, if people who really been conditioning their legs, their stuff, would they suffer when they're older? Or what do you think? I think, again, it's luck of the draw. There's mm. there's some people, like, you know, it's just like smoking, you know. Right. <laughs> you could have someone that smokes their whole life, lives to and 90. Fine, yeah. yeah, and they're fine. And then I just think it's, you can't really just put a, your finger on it and just say, well, mm. everyone that does this is going to be yeah, like yeah. this. No, but what do you hear like about ma majority or like, I, I'm just wondering because I don't think I heard anything that Muay Thai fighters, yeah, because one of the biggest ones is like they're so conditioned. They literally, they have their fights sometimes. It's like, um, like a competition. Who is going to survive just from kicking each other in the leg? Like they just go for thighs. Yeah. You kick, I kick. You kick, I could tick for tat. And whoever falls first, like, okay, obviously you're losing. I would just say what my dad says. He, he said, Noth nothing is free in this world. So, like, if, if you're obviously punishing your body, mm -hmm. you're going to get it somewhere down the line. So, right, right, obviously, right. the only thing you can do is condition and strengthen as much as possible to limit, obviously, injuries and different yeah. stuff. I think people that obviously don't condition and, and strengthen ready for the worst, obviously, they're not prepared, and then they'll have a big fall. That's normally what happens. Right. So... You know, we see that in the tricking community, you know, when someone does a big move and they haven't really conditioned and they damage their leg and then they're out for like years or yeah, they're never yeah. the same again. Um, I've been quite lucky. I've had a couple of injuries, but being able to bounce back, I think because of the way I've trained, especially being rooted in martial arts, training obviously more regularly probably in, in different areas than they would. They probably just go out chucking all fancy kicks mm, mm, mm. and then they haven't got the, the other side side of it to, to back it up if anything goes wrong. Whereas, like I said, we're conditioned in loads of different ways. So I think I've been quite lucky. Hopefully it stays that way. But mm. um, yeah, I think the conditioning and now I've trained has kind of helped me stay not injury free, but less injuries or less serious yeah, injuries. Yeah, conditioning is huge. It's like you need and to- And I think that's to. the same with with, with Thai boxing, tying it back back in into that, we tie him back in. Mm. <laughs> Terrible dad joke there. But um, <laughs> I didn't get it, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> move on. <laughs> oh, never mind. So yeah, yeah. I just think, yeah, it depends on the person. Bro, if the conditioning and things, you know, you see, you see old Thai masters still kicking and doing stuff. So mm. again, it's just luck of the draw. Or okay, so what else we have from stuff. kicking stuff is uh, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, kickboxing. Karate, who else do we have from kickers? Well, capoeira, capoeira, like capoeiristas, it's very interesting. Like I, I did capoeira for two years and how so, so like a general population would think, oh, all we do just dancing, which is a hoda, and you don't really fight. Mm -hmm. Capoeiristas can fight like motherfuckers, it's insane. Like, But it's, it just doesn't show that very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the whole capoeira martial art, do you know how it started? 
Yeah, yeah, slaves. Slaves, yes. and they basically Thailand. pretend that they were yeah. just dancing, you know. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. like, as the guards come in, like, what are you guys doing? Oh, I'm just dancing. <laughs> dancing yeah. to learn how to kick your ass at some point. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it is interesting to see, like, I, I for, you know, when I was practicing karate, I thought karate is the shit. Is a wow, yes. I think most people, wherever martial art they pick, is think is the shit. I know, I know. And then you is. go against kickboxer and on the ring and you get slammed in the in the corner, you're like, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I have yeah. no place to run. Um, it's very interesting. So it's always gonna be pluses and minuses, and there's never gonna be like a, a perfect martial art. But in my opinion, I think the most devastating one is probably Muay Thai. I don't like if you get against Muay Thai person who knows how to use it's knees the, and yeah. elbows and yeah. everything, it's just like it's, it's great for stand up, like it, it's, you know, you got your elbows and knees, you got your eight main tools, haven't you? You got your yeah. punches from each arm, you got your kicks from each leg, you got your knees and elbows, the main eight techniques. I know we can headbutt and stuff as well if yeah. we really need to. Maybe Oof. not, obviously, in the competition, but, you know. They can, they can do it. Oh, no, they don't. But then, do it you know, it, it goes even further then. Forearm strikes, you know, every part of you ends up becoming a kind of weapon if you really mm. kind of get into it. <laughs> so it's quite nuts, really. But, um, yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 I would say in stand-up Muay Thai is brilliant, like, you know. You know, right. obviously where it lacks, obviously, then is your grain work taken down. But they even got clinching as well, which is great. So <laughs> like you got, you it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so but, you have now, how, what kind of uh, degrees do you have? What diplomas or no, but the belts you have in different uh, categories or tell me. So you're a fourth Dan in? In ta Taekwondo ITF. ITF. Uh, first Dan in WT. In WT, so and those are the two. I'm a third uh, degree in kickboxing as well. Oh, okay. So kickboxing has grades. As, as do you well. still practice kickboxing? Yeah. Oh, okay. As a, a teach and, and do the whole thing? Not so much teach anymore because I've been so busy. Mm. Um, I do love teaching and the great thing is even, even in our line of work, I end up teaching a lot of actors and helping some yeah, performers yeah, yeah. as well. So I end up teaching just in a different way. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Bruno's Podcast.